Hello everybody, my name is Alan from Sauber Lab and in this video we're going to compare Plex and Jellyfin. We're going to explain a little bit more about Plex, a little bit more about Jellyfin and compare which one that's better for your application. You're going to ask me why, Alan, you don't explain Plex and AMB. Okay, AMB, you have the pay option to have a full access for all the features and Jellyfin is totally free and it's really similar. I'm going to show a little bit each one. But this reason I wanted to show Jellyfin because it's an open source, totally free option and Plex, that's one of the biggest media stream that is current in the market. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're going to show in this video. But first of all, don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed and let's understand a little bit more about it. As I told in this video, we're going to try to understand which one's better, Plex or Jellyfin. So before we start to comment which one's better, which ones that will work better for you, we come here my screen. Here I have Plex and here will be all my media that I have. In the other hand, I have Jellyfin. The reason that I didn't go to AMB, it's because basically AMB and Jellyfin is really similar. They work exactly the same, they have exactly the same view, but the difference that uh, AMB, it's a pay option and Jellyfin is totally free. So what I'm going to do, I will put AMB aside and that's what I'm going to be focused is Jellyfin and Plex. So first of all, we come in Plex. So Plex, it's one of the biggest one that is read a long time in the market. And this reason that I want to compare Plex against of other application as Plex is well established, work, have application in most of these systems and that uh, we're gonna look for this. So first of all, Plex, one of the advantage for have Plex in relationship for Jelly things that just work. So once that you install Plex, for remote access, it's, they do automatically. If they don't work automatically, you can create a port forwarding as they comment here, and that will allow you to have external access. But in my case, I didn't need to do anything. I just install Plex and basically it's working. Also, if I want uh, to have my media, I can have my media, they will work well. You have a media for videos, media for other things. You can have a Plex home and add all your users and they just work. The only limitation for it is that for you have all the fixtures. So let's say if you want to do transcoder, for you use the hardware transcoder, you need to have the Plex Plus or Plex Pass. So you need to pay some amount of money for Plex in order to use all the fixtures. Also, if you want to install your phone and play in your phone, you need to pay this extra money, otherwise they will not work. They have a limitation of one minute, two minutes, if I don't remember right, but you're gonna have some limitation. So for Plex, they will have a lot of different application. They update quite a lot. You want to run in your TV, they will have application for your TV. You want to run in your phone, they will have application for your phone. You want to run in an old TV, yes, they will have application for your old TV. But in Jellyfin don't have so much application the same way. But on the other hand, you're going to need to pay some amount monthly or you're going to need to pay one off. In my case, I paid one off some time ago. And this reason that I use quite a lot of Plex because I have all those features. On the other hand, if I go for Jellyfin, Jellyfin, it's this application, they will look exactly the same. You can have all your media, you can add more media. And one of the really good things for Jellyfin is that you can have your playback and your media transcode without needing to pay anything. They only work. And also you can do a lot of different configuration as speed, skip and other things, what Plex don't give all these options. So if you want to do a length go back or backwards or forwards, they will be able to configure it. If you want to do mid assessment and other things, they will be able to be configured. Compared for Plex, it's much more limited. Also, for Jellyfin, if you want to have external access for it, you need to use a port forwarding or a proxy manager. Proxy manager will be the best option because you need to do a reverse proxy and that um, they will allow you to have external access. But in this way, you need to use NGX proxy manager or Cloudflare Tunnel and then the speeds for Cloudflare Tunnel will be compromised a little bit. 
but one good thing that you don't need to have internet. So Jellyfin, if you want to use in a boat, let's say, you can use in a boat. For Plex, you need to have internet. How it's work Plex? Basically, they will connect for a Plex server and that Plex server will give you this IP address or this way for you connect and allow you to connect. Without internet, you cannot do authentication, you cannot access your server, you cannot do anything. On the other hand, if you are in your local network, Jellyfin, you can access, you can do more things, but you're gonna have some limitations. As I told, Jellyfin have less applications. So the reason that I don't use Jellyfin for all my house, and the first time I didn't use as well. So I have a TV, a Samsung TV, quite old. And in this TV, I can install Plex, but I cannot install Jellyfin because I don't have app for it. Of course, I can go around, I can do something different, but, but I don't have an application, so they will never work as fast as native application. Also, I need to use reverse proxy and I use Cloudflare, what sometimes limitate my speeds. So if I wanted to do more than one stream at the same time, and depend what size of the stream, they will not work as fast as Plex will gonna work. Also, for manage my users, manage other things, Plex work much easy and it's just work. And because I have the Plex pass, they have all the features. But let's say, if I didn't get this Plex pass some time ago, what I'm gonna use? I'm gonna use Jellyfin because I can do a proxy reverse, I can um, have this application, I can have uh, my TVs, I can have uh, this application that will work really well, you have a nice view, you have uh, all the free options that you can do transcription without paying anything, you can use it with internet and without internet, so you have more flexibility for you. Compare for Plex, if you don't have the Plex Pass, you're gonna have limited experience and that will not work as good as you expect. One of the things, if you go for Plex and manage as your home and everyone have the same user, Yes, will work, but if you wanted to create others users that is not connect, they will not work the same way. Jellyfin, you can create as many users as you want and give that um, reverse prox, that website, and that they will connect and you're gonna have full access. On the other hand, if you pay the Plex Pass and that you don't create a Plex home and all your users inside this home, you not gonna have all the same experience. So all the others using will have limited access, limited performance, limited experience, principally because Plex force you to pay compared for the free. So in this way, we arrive at the end of the video. I hope that you guys like it. I hope that you think that's help you to decide which one of those options will be the best for you. So if you want totally free, don't need to stress anything, go to Jellyfin. So in your house, Jellyfin don't have the native application for your TV, but have for Plex, so in this way I will go to Plex. I hope that you guys like this video. If you like this video and think that was interesting, please don't forget to leave a like, consider to subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed yet, and see you next time. Bye.